Let's make a little tilapia again. The only negative thing about this fish is that it's from fresh water and has no taste, so you gotta help it out a lot. I'm gonna season it with uh, Chef Paul Prudhomme's Magic Seasoning, Lyonnaise, meaning onions, flour, butter, my minced up garlic, fresh garlic. But uh, this time, the other problem with the fish is when you look at it, you see one side is nice and thick, the other side is thin. And most of the time it's sauteed like this or baked like this. Well, this side gets overcooked because you have to wait for this side to get finished cooking. So we're going to cut it right down there and we're going to cook them separate. So both sides come out nice and tender and juicy. Or we'll season the fish. Uh, you don't have to use this seasoning, you can use whatever you like. I like it because I want to make this fish tasty. So I'm going to put this on both sides. There isn't that much salt in this mix. So if you like things a little bit uh, more salt, you sprinkle a little salt on there. Otherwise, leave it like I am because I don't care to have all that salt. And once we do this, we're going to dust it in flour. And we'll saute it in oil. You can use oil and butter. You can use butter. All depends on what you like, because it works either way. With just plain butter, you'll get a little darker color, because the butter might uh, brown a little bit. So we put a good amount of oil in there, your favorite oil, high flame, let it get hot, and we're going to cook, put in there, we're going to dust it in flour, like so. Shake it off. And this side is the side that the bones are on. That's the side you want to place in there first. This is the side that's rounded a little that had the skin on it. Now if you want to make this gluten free, you can dust this in uh, cornmeal, rice flour, many ways of doing it. And if you don't want to use flour, this fish is kind of sturdy and if you have a good pan like this one, you could uh, saute it without flour and it shouldn't stick. Now these three pieces, I'm going to wait, the thin pieces. So I'll just leave them on the plate and when I turn this fish over that's when I'm going to put these in or I could put them in now and just take them out sooner. So I'm going to leave this camera running so you see how long it takes. Too much smoke, just lower the flame a little. You want to get some color but we don't want to get, uh, we don't want to burn the fish. Now you know that this is farm raised and it comes in frozen. So don't let them make you think it's fresh. And sometimes the fish might be a little wet. So that's why I flour it just before I put it in the pan. Otherwise, the fish, being a little watery, will absorb the flour and you won't get that nice finish. And then right after this, I'm going to, you know, because of Sandy, I can't find a lot of my stuff. I have a, Bachelor, a metal one, 
which I can't find, so now we'll have to use the plastic one. Nice aroma. It's not the fish that smells good, it's the uh, Cajun season. Same thing with this. That side down. And then right after this, in the same pan, without cleaning it, we're going to saute the onions. And while the onions are sautéing, we'll sprinkle a little salt on them. Because no matter what you're cooking, you have to season it. Just because, just because it's going over the fish, or under the fish, it all depends on how nice the fish comes out. If the fish comes out looking golden brown, you can make a bed of onions, put the fish on top. Or, put the onions over the fish, not covering the entire fish, but that's how I'm going to do it. Now we're going to raise the flame because that was too low. So the onions will be sautéed. Lyonnaise usually means with onions. So that, does that mean I shouldn't put garlic with it, which I'm going to do? No, because you can do whatever you want. Lyonnaise means there's onions, and there's a lot of onions. So it really is a lyonnaise uh, with a slight adjustment. Because the more you season this, and you can put herbs in there too. Your favorite herbs, whatever you like. You could also splash a little white wine in there. There's only things you can do with tilapia. And it's difficult to overcook it compared to some other fish. Now, when we take this out, I'm going to have it on the plate. And then I'm going to saute the onions and then shut the flame off and wait. Wait for what? Till we sit down and eat. Then I will take the fish from the plate, put it on top of the onion, and heat it up that way, really finish cooking it. So you're doing all of this in one pan, which I like to do. Then again, you can cook the onion separate, and you're using two pans. But this way you're picking up the flavor of the fish and the seasoning with the onions by doing it this way. And if you deglaze the pan after the onions are there and they have the color you want, or just the texture you want, you can deglaze it with some white wine, a splash of water, some lemon juice, and that's what I'm going to use today. We're going to splash lemon juice right on the onions when they're just about finished. So, this is coming out. And these smaller pieces, you can see how thin they are. So if you were to use butter, if you notice, there is some browning here. The butter would burn, but that's okay if you like that. Dark brown butter flavor. Nothing wrong with that. So that's it. Now we're done with this. Take this out. That was relatively simple. And then we'll go slice the onions. Put the onions back in here. And by that time, this should cool down a little bit, even though it's okay the way it is. So in this pan, we're also going to put a nice Notice how much butter? Uh, about two tablespoons. Well, two tablespoons and there's a little piece left in the dish. Now you can put either salt on this. You have to put something. You can either put salt. It may look like a lot of onions, but watch how they cook down. Now you can cook the onions low flame. Cook them on a high flame if you want a lot of color. 
is up to you. There's no right way or wrong way. I'm using a relatively high flame. And like I said, you can put in here salt, or you can put in more Cajun seasoning. But I have enough on the fish, so we're just going to take a little salt, if I can find it. I have my salt mixture here. No, it's plain salt. Sea salt. Uh, this Hurricane Sandy. A lot of my stuff is still buried someplace. So we'll take a little salt. You want to put pepper on there too? Go right ahead, put some pepper in there. I am not going to put any pepper. I want that sauteing. I get the last thing that will be going in there. And it's quite a bit. And that's a third of a cup of lemon juice. Don't yell at me, but I'm using this one today. I forgot to go shopping for lemon. You can quicken this cooking by covering this. It'll cut the cooking time like get in half. So I'll shut this film off now because I'll be cooking this, no sense in wasting your time, until it has nice color or translucent, then I'm going to add the lemon. At that point, we'll turn this video back on. And now the last thing I'll put into this, because I don't like to cook garlic too much, The less you cook it, the better it is for you. So, I have my minced garlic, and it's up to the individual how much you want to use. Or well, you don't have to use any. I happen to like garlic. So therefore, I'm putting it into this lionese recipe. And at this point, we're going to add the lemon juice also. The onions have nice color. Could have rubbed the fish with lemon juice, but I want to get, I want to have this like so. And also, there's a little flour in there. from the fish, which is like uh, somewhat of a roux, so these onions will be clinging together, as you see, like a sauce. That's enough. Shut this off. Take the uh, fish, place it in there, and then wait. Mm, I'm figuring in another hour or so we'll be having this for dinner. What am I making with it? Uh, either rice or pasta and some fresh corn. I haven't made up my mind yet. Anyway, um, this will take three minutes to heat up. It's heated up. You just go under it and take it and put it on the plate, three pieces each, uh, or maybe <laughs> it's hard to divide at one, two, three, four, five, six. Three of the pieces are large, three of the pieces are small. 
So be fair to your partner or whoever is joining you. And uh, that's it. Enjoy.